little video on a closed loop stepper motor that uh, I bought from Automation Technologies. Here it is here. Um, it has an encoder on the back of it. Comes with an encoder cable. This is a KL5080H. I think this stepper motor is 228 ounce inches, I believe. Um, but uh, anyway, so I wanted to go over how this particular setup is connected. Uh, first of all, I have one of the uh, this this power supply happens to be uh, four outputs, voltage outputs, but I'm using it for uh, five volts and 24 volts for Acorn. You see the 24 volt wire coming down here to uh, Acorn, and then this is the the five volt lead that's coming around into uh, the KL580H. It goes into pulse positive. Let's go ahead and flip this around so you're not backwards. It goes into it goes into pulse positive and then it's jump jumpered over to direct or direction positive and then uh, pulse negative which is the step signal it's this purple wire it it goes over here to acorns step output and then the blue wire is direction it comes around and it goes into direction negative on the drive and then here the fault uh, the alarm output it uh, is a uh, uh, normally open output it closes when there is a fault and the way that's wired it's going to input 5 right here on acorn and that comes around and it goes into fault positive and then fault negative is coming out and it's just going to a common terminal that I have uh, happen to be convenient on uh, Acorn. So uh, again, you got to have five volts. Uh, you have to have five volts to the to the uh, pulse positive and the dir positive, and then the negative signals, the pulse, which is step and direction negative, they go to Acorn. Acorn's taking them to ground. Okay, and then again, fault positive. That's this wire right here. Sorry, that's this wire right here is going to Acorn's input five. That's positive, and then fault negative is going to common right here. Okay, so uh, let me uh, let me demonstrate that the motor is running. There's the motor running. It has a 1,000 pulse encoder, so it's 4,000 uh, counts. Uh, set up in uh, the wizard so there you see it's running and right now I have like I said it's input 5 and it is inverted okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fault I'm going to create a fault by disconnecting the encoder cable to the drive okay so the encoder is disconnected so now I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, run the drive. And you see right there, the fault LED went out. And then if you go over here to the, uh, the drive, you see the fault LED flickering there. Now the only way to reset that is to power down the drive. So the way I do that is I just unplug this connector here. It's the power connector. And I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the encoder. I've reconnected the encoder. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug power back into the drive. And you'll see the LED is back to normal, no fault. And then you'll see here the LED is back on. I'm using uh, input 5 again. It's back on. And then I have a drive fault there, so I have to cycle e-stop. So I'll just whack my e-stop button here and then clear it. Now it's cleared and uh, let's try our drive again. Okay, so everything's back to normal. Again, to recap, 5 volts from the power supply goes to, goes to pulse positive and then there's a jumper over to direction positive. And then pulse negative, which is a step signal, this is purple wire, is going to step input on Acorn. Direction 
uh, from Acorn. It's a blue wire here. It's going to direction negative here. And then input 5, terminal 5 right here, is going to fault positive here. Fault negative is going to common here. And uh, uh, you can, I guess, I don't have the, the cable to reprogram this, but you can change the state of the, the uh, fault output. And it's better that it be normally closed instead of normally open. In my case, it's normally open. So, uh, you know, I'll order the cable and I'll do that. But uh, anyway, so that's how to hook up one of these uh, KL508 OH uh, closed loop stepper drives. Alright, hope that helps some of you guys out.